There are six athletes in five distinct roles on board an F-50 in Sail GP. Strategist, driver, wing trimmer, flight controller and two grinders who make up the crew. Let's take a look at the role of the grinders. To generate power in the wing, the grinders, they need strength and stamina. I'm here with the USA team grinder, Anna Weiss. And Anna, tell us what it is to be a grinder. Yeah, so a grinder on the boat, there's two of us on board and we're basically in the front of the boat spinning the handles. And all it does is provide power for the wing trimmer to bring the, wind, the wing in and out. Well, I want to see what you actually do. So should we head up into the F-50? You guys just got off the water and you can show me what you do? Yeah, let's go. Grinders are the people you can see at the front of the boat. They're the ones that are helping pull that big sail in and out, moving those grinding handles. You can see them working hard. Up Slingsby printed it fast. Whoa, that was so tight. Okay, Anna, this is where the magic happens. So talk us through it. What, what, what does this do? <laughs> yeah, so basically um, I'm in the grinding position number two. So the person I'm facing is grinder number one. Okay. And so we're basically facing each other and we're just spinning the handles like this. And again, like that's powering the, the wing trimmer's ability to, you know, move the wing in and out. Um, and so, yeah, it's really hard work, you know, very, very physically taxing and... And are you doing that all the time? Are you doing it just when they want to move the sail? Yeah, pretty much just when they want to move the sail, but, you know, there's, there's different modes that we can sail, so, you know, there's moments on, in the race where we're having to go as hard as we can, and then there's also other moments where we're just slowly cranking it. Catching your breath. Yeah, yeah. so, um, yeah, we, we pick those moments uh, when we can, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's just learning when in the race we need to put all of our effort into it and when we can kind of just continue on a slower pace. And um, when you say put all of your effort in, would that be when you're doing a big maneuver and or there's a big gust of wind? When are those like big powerful moments? Uh, yeah, definitely when we're rounding, rounding some marks and um, in maneuvers, yeah. Those are the big times, yeah. And so in here it goes into the F50 and it connects to the wing sheet, which is the only rope on the boat really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And are there different gears in the in here? Like, can you change like the speed at which you go, or is it is it kind of one speed? Yeah, we can we can uh, change the gears in here to make it like easier or harder. And like a bike. Where you yeah, can exactly, your gearing. exactly <laughs> like a bike. Uh, change our gearing. So um, we back there, it's called a winch, and that's where we change our gears. And so, depending on the wind conditions and what we want to run, we can change it back there. And there's a few other things you get to do as a grind if you're facing forward, I guess. Um, and that's what this little button control and you've got some pedals as well. Yeah, so I have foot pedals here. I'm basically controlling the jib, which is the small sail on the front of the boat. Um, and so just like the wing trimmer is controlling the big wing, that's what my job is for the little sail. So I've got some foot pedals here, which control, you know, how much I'm pulling the sail on and off. And then also here, there's a few more controls that just change the shape of the sail. and. Um, yeah, they're all really important, and so constantly adjusting and trying to figure out like wh whatever angle we're sailing, what where the jib needs to be trimmed to. Um, so you're doing a max effort while you're thinking about how much power you need in the front sail. So it's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun job. It's a physical and mental job, but it's really, really fun. And um, I know you don't do this position, but um, facing backwards, um, you are providing information to the driver, or what does the other grinder do? Yeah, I mean, the grinder, they're the one kind of leading the grind because what they base off when they need to grind is um, the wing. So they can, they can see it. They yeah. can see the wing uh, perfectly. And so, you know, they're leading it. And um, when we do maneuvers, they'll be the one uh, inverting the wing. So basically what that means is when we tack or drive, we need to switch the wing to the, the side that we're going to sail on. Yep, so in a traditional sailboat, that's when you see the big boom fly over um, yeah. and change sides with the wing. So exactly. it's, a, it's a little bit more mechanical on an F-50. Yeah, yeah, so you, you, have, you do have to press a button to make that happen. It's, it, doesn't, it won't tack on its own because a sail will just do it on its own. But uh, So that's what uh, G1 is doing. And, um, you know, they're kind of, kind of, if I ever need anything, you know, they're helping me out in, as well, so. Well, what's interesting, Todd, is this is range really good. Australia's going to go. Oh, Australia's going to go. Australia. Australia. Oh, my word. Oh, they oh. got the wing all oh, went wrong there. Something went wrong with the wing invert again. Oh, no. Have a look at it. Big moment. We've never seen that before in Sail GP. They all look all right. The crew in the pods. 
Oh, plenty of experience there, but oh. that disaster for the Australians. What a moment out there on the water. How many watts or how much power do you really need as a grinder, I guess? Never enough. Never enough. <laughs> so you're always trying to get yes. stronger and fitter. Yes, exactly. And what's the hardest part about, about being a grinder, o other than maybe like the fitness and the strength? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think probably that's the hardest part. You know, you're putting in long hours when you're not here and um, training really hard in that sense. But, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, there's a lot to the job. And so I think, you know, you're always trying to get better watching video. How can I be a better jib trimmer? How can I be a better grinder? Um, so there's just a lot to always learn. And, but it's really fun. <laughs> and every position is, is so critical. And if you guys don't do your job up here, what happens? <laughs> Uh, nothing, we're, happens. We're, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happens. We are the glue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's like if the engine's not working, the boat's not going to go forward. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're not here and not sailing, what are you doing in the gym to to get you ready to be able to grind out there on the water? Yeah, well, we have a we have a trainer who works with our team, and so he's programming some lifts as well as um, you know five to six cardio sessions. A week and so some sometimes it could be anywhere from 90 minute to two hour grind just you know zone two to you know high intense intervals and um, yeah it's it's uh, it's a lot of work that you have to put in to kind of continue to get fitter uh, and you know additionally we're additionally to getting fitter we're also watching a lot of videos so it really is a full-time job when we're not here so yeah what do you like most about this position? You like the I challenge? Think, <laughs> I like I like the challenge. I really like the challenge, um, and I also really like trimming the jib. I think it's a really fun job, and um, when you do it well, it's really rewarding. So, when you jumped on the F50, um, especially I guess in this position, what was what was the learning curve like? Obviously, trimming a sail is is a technical position, and then obviously you got the power and endurance as well. Um, what was it like? Yeah, uh, it's it's been really challenging, but luckily it's been a pretty steep learning curve. Uh, you know, I we're the the hours are still very few um, that we've done, but you know, every single day that I go out, I seems to that I'm just picking up on one more thing, and everything's slowing down a little bit more. Um, so, you know, like when I first started, I was so overwhelmed by doing these controls on the buttons, and I was always looking and not focusing on the grinding. But now, you know, it's all right, I can, I can, you know, look and I can press and and um, I have, I have it more in control and and now I can, you know, I'm, I'm better at anticipating what's going to happen and I think that's kind of the goal. You want to always be anticipating what's going to happen and be ahead of it. Um, so, it's, it's, it's been good. <laughs> Go hard, Peter. Go board. Stay with me. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. Grind. 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 Please. And turning. All right, you can show me how it's done. Where you go towards you? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's like really quite fast. <laughs> yeah. But like there well, would be so much down. load. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there would be way more load in this. <laughs> yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to not get thrown off the handles by one of the big boys. <laughs> yeah, you're with like a hundred kilo guy. Yeah. The side, pushing you around. Yeah. Nice. No, oh, so it's good. You know, get your heart rate up a little yeah. bit. Cool. Yeah. Just a lot harder when you got to pull a wing in. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting us through what the grinders do on the F50. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's everything you need to know about the grinding position. Clearly, not everyone is cut out for that role. To find out what the other crew members do on board, head to the Sail GP 101 playlist.